What is going on Ant Crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. I hope you guys, hope the Ant Crew are having a fantastic day. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've just been feeling like really off the game today. I got up kind of early, so now I just want to like snuggle up in a ball with my dog and go to sleep. But I got to get my act together because today we have a really, really exciting transition. So the world has pretty much come to a consensus that Brandon Lai is an incredible filmmaker. He's an incredible filmmaker, storyteller, transition maker, and just incredible videographer in general. Today we're going to go over one of his more flashy transitions where the camera sort of like zooms through and then the second clip clip sort of fades on sort of thing. It's kind of hard to describe, but I think you guys will see what I mean in a second. And that being said, let's hop on the computer and start talking about this effect. All right, guys, so I'm inside of Adobe Premiere Pro now, and I've got two different clips, technically three, but really two. And this first clip is just a shot of me standing there, and then these leaves sort of fade on, and it zooms out. I've done a tutorial on this in the past. I'm not going to tell you guys how to do it again, but if you want to see that tutorial, I'll link it down in the description below. But the reason why I like this clip is because it's moving backwards, which is going to work really well with this transition. The next clip I have starts off and it sort of looks like it's just a clip outside but then it comes back and it reveals that it's actually inside and it shows the frame of this doorway. It's really important to have some kind of frame or some kind of crevice or just something you can mask out inside of After Effects. Now that I've got these two different clips, I'm going to select them, right click and hit replace with After Effects composition. Alright guys, so I'm inside of Adobe After Effects now and get started on this effect. We're going to go to our second clip, hit Control D on PC or Command D on Mac. We're then going to hit G on our keyboard. That brings up our pen tool, and we're going to draw a nice quick mask around this square. All right, so now I've got my mask around it. I'm going to hit M on my keyboard. That brings up our mask path options, and I'm going to hit this stopwatch, and that adds our first keyframe and enables keyframes. And now I'm going to move back a little bit, and I'm just going to adjust this mask to fit the frame. Something about like that is good. We'll move again. Move again. Cool, and now I've got a pretty good mask around this layer. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom layer and delete it. And we actually masked out the wrong way. We need to invert it. So just go over to the mask options and check this box for inverted. Now we'll select this clip, drag it on top of our first clip. We're going to drag it over to the left, somewhere about right there. And now what I'm actually going to do is duplicate this layer, hit MM on my keyboard, select the mask one, delete it. Hit T on my keyboard, that brings up my opacity. Keyframe the opacity at 100, leave it about right there, drag it a little bit farther forward, and then bring the opacity down to zero. And that is literally the entire transition. Let's ram preview it and watch our work. 